Hi everyone, so this is a modification to our previous Python login system. So if you've not been following, I will drop the link to the previous one in the description below so you can follow. As you might have known already that we've been submitting our password into our self-made database as in plain text and we don't want that. So we want to encrypt it in this particular tutorial using the bcrypt library. So uh, the first thing we want to do is you know pip install the bcrypt library into our virtual environment so if you're in your virtual environment already just run pip install um, bcrypt so once you run pip, pip install bcrypt in your terminal it's going to install bcrypt into your virtual environment i won't run that because i have it you know uh, installed in my virtual environment so the next thing we want to do is import bcrypt into your python script so and uh, i would like to get rid of this so that we can have fresh input into our database.txt then i'll just make some modifications to our gain access and our register functions here so the modification i'll make in the register dot in in register function is that after verifying if password one is equal to password two i would like to you know hash my password there because if i had done that earlier or if i do that earlier than now i'm going to run into trouble because there is no way python will tell if password one is actually equal to password two so according to the documentation of the library it says we should first encode the password we are bringing in then encrypt it thereafter so that's what we are going to be doing so i'll just write password one and i'll encode it password one dot encode and i'll use utf eight there then down here i'll say password one i'll encode it down here then just allow me to quickly steal their code and copy that and paste it down here then I did it to suit my purpose and replace this okay, with password one so and because we have double string here we have username as string we are concatenating two strings down here we need to actually convert this into string because our password is now a byte not string there's no way we can convert uh, we can concatenate bytes and string uh together so i'll just pass string here and convert this into string so that it can go into our database successfully All right let's run this code quickly in the terminal um okay, so if i say index.py as I choose sign up I'll just enter a random name let's say the ball and I say free world let's say free world of let me just copy this so I can confirm the password and free world of and user created successfully let's see what's inside the database now now we have an encrypted password submitting successfully into the database.txt but mind you this isn't a bytecode it's strange we've converted it to strange that's what we did when we, we, we actually did this right here so but before we can you know verify if the password is correct or not we actually need to convert this back into bytecode you know we are going to be doing that inside our gain access dot py up here oh sorry gain access function or dot py so before we can actually verify it we need to encode it back into byte because there is no way bcrypt will read a strange format by the time we encode it we will have something like this a double quote wrapped around everything here 
and this is not what we want this is not uh, our database so to actually get rid of all these things what we need to do is actually to just you, you we need to remove this trading B then we need to remove the trading single code so that we can have a single code right here and have a uh, a properly encoded string so let me return that to how it was okay so let's do that briefly so doing that I'll just say hashed equals so I'll type hashed equals um, I'll just say data data into username if you log data into username you're gonna see the password that we entered because we are actually getting or retrieving the data from the from database.txt as dictionary so we have key value pairs so our keys are the usernames while our values are actually the passwords so we'll just say okay this one does trip you want to remove the trading b in the uh, string before we encode it again so we just say remove the trading b then again say hashed equals uh, the hashed above then we say dot replace we want to also replace the any single code with and with no code or with nothing so we just say we just type this and here we we do this so please take note of the single quotes within those double quotes right there so following that I'll say hashed equals hashed then I'm going to encode it now <laughs> so um, I use UTF minus eight then according to the documentation again that's what we have we need to see if be crypt check password password hash so down here I just see if be crypt into uh, sorry dot check check password into password dot so I'm gonna encode the password so we are comparing an encoded password with an encoded password in the database then a uh, comma and again hashed our hashed password so I'll just shift this to the front and down here I'll say else if that statement is not true then um, print password or wrong password and let's check through if our codes are okay okay so now let's try to you know log in using the credentials we entered here or let's just first let's sign up let's sign another user up to see if passwords are not clashing so sign up and the username that we want to use now let's say joe man and down here i'm just gonna use like nine g's one two three four five six seven eight nine and down here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay good so user created successful let's check that in the database it's created so now let's log in to one of those users profile so let's run index again then this time around we're logging in and the username is let's use a first person so Edo Paul. Okay. So I'll just copy this password up here. Uh free word of since that's the password we used. 
for this user so let's see okay good so we are logging in now and we are having a success so what if we enter a wrong password let's say the password that belongs to the second user all right so um now let's say it will port. okay let's use joman and let's use the wrong password for joman let's use the Ah, uh, sorry okay so login so we want to do so let's use joe man and the password let's just play paste free word of there so we are getting wrong password so what if now use a right password we have index p1 and okay login i don't even know what i'm saying anymore okay login and Juman. let's use the correct password for Juman. i said we enter nine g's so one two three four five six seven eight nine and success okay so good so this is actually a cool project to you know embark on if you want to create your own login system even if you're working with a backend stack like uh flask or jungle you can actually you know be creative whether you're working with mongodb i mean no sql or sql databases this is just a basic things you need to you know the basic checks you need to run and using bcrypt you can actually ask your password and you know authenticate the user by checking the password in the database with the one the user is bringing in so the sky is just limit so thank you so much if you really gain from the video just put a like on it and more especially please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this stay up thank you